Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Mahesh Naikas. In this class, we are discussing subject verb agreement, and this is class one in the subtopic subject verb agreement. And the textbook which is used to prepare this class is English language practice workbook. in the last class we learned how to form the simple past tense that is formation of the simple past tense by adding d e d r i e d at the same time we also discussed in detail the different uses of the simple past tense the learning objectives of this class or the first one to enable the students to match the verb with its subject in this class you will be taught how to match verb with its subject the second objective is to make you understand different persons first person second person and third person so the subjects uh, mentioned in the first objective uh, refers to the persons okay first person subject second person subject or third person subject fine dear students uh, let us see some details or information about subject verb agreement the form of the verb in present and past tenses must match its subject in number and person that means okay uh, if the tense form okay whether present or past it should match or it should agree with the subject in number and person number means whether singular or plural person means whether first person second person or third person andre vidyarthigale illi subject iruttala subject singular il idiya plural il idiya annodra mele verb andre present tense verb alli athwa past tense verb alli yava verb form barbeku annodu decide agutte that means the form of the verb in the two tenses two tenses means present and past depends on the subject andre verb verb in a form for example run or runs or eat or eats or ate okay so ee tharadhu yavaga hege barutte anadre it depends on the subject okay whether we have to put run or runs in the present tense it depends on the subject whether we have to put was or were in the past tense again it depends on the subject okay past tense li was hakbeka var hakbeka anta decide madodadre adu subject enide singular or plural la annodanna now nodbekagutte when the subject is a third person singular noun or pronoun okay if the subject is third person that means he she mahesh or shobha okay like that or the horse or the student all these are considered as third person singular subjects okay he she they are singular pronouns the verb in the simple present tense takes es es or ies okay so that means if the subject is third person singular he she it or any name any singular okay third person third person so present tense the verb takes either yes or yes or ies to the base form and the base form ige now yes athwa es athwa ies ana serustivi yavaga verb i mean tense present tense agiddu uh, subject to third person singular iddaga annodu third condition okay fine dear students uh, if uh, we look at the examples you will understand it uh, better 
here are the examples uh, uh, based on the subject of agreement fine dear students look here he she shobha the boy this is called these are subjects okay so that means if we use any one of these subjects or these kinds of subject he she shobha the boy these are in singular even though it's a singular language okay singular and third person singular and third person so here reads the book okay the base form is read base form of the verb is read here we have added yes read yes okay because present tense present tense is there read also present tense read also present tense but we have added yes because the subject is third person singular third person singular right <clears throat> fine let us look at the second sentence i you we they shobha and tej the boys read the book look at this this is also present tense read okay this is also present tense reads both are present reads present tense read present tense then why we have added yes here andre because the subject is third person singular <clears throat> but here why we have added read means the subject is plural or first person singular i idella first person singular you second person singular this is i means first person singular you second person singular and others are plural okay that is why we have uh, not added yes yes ana sersilla now illi through i mean present tense alli idru sa even though the verb is in present tense we have not added yes because the subject is second person singular and the plural okay that means yavde plural bandru saha verb present tense alli idre now yes athwa es athwa is na add madodilla we retain uh, the verb as it is in the base form adana hagene uluskontivi let us go to the next example he she shobha the boy same subject okay here uh, i have used goes to the market right so go is the base form go no the base form here here we have added es goes okay why <coughs> excuse me because here third person singular the subject here is third person singular that is why we have added es to the base verb goes to the market fine so next example i you we they shobha and tej the boys go to the market see go go is also present tense go kuda present tense then why we have not added es andre because the subject here is sec first person singular i you is second person singular and remaining are plurals andre plural bandaga subject to athwa sec first person athwa second person singular idagru saha now yes athwa yes ana serisodilla base form alle uluskontivi verb anna present tense alli next he she shobha the boy cries a lot cries a lot okay here of course cries base form is cry cries na base form cry cry here we have added ies ies okay why because the subject is third person singular third person singular irodrinda ies na now add madidivi present tense in present tense the next example i you we they show advantage the boys yes uh, it is already known very well i is first person singular u is second person singular and remaining are plural so we have not added i r e s r i mean sorry yes r e s r i e s illi yavudanu saha now serisilla that means the subject okay the subject i should agree with the verb that is a subject verb agreement e subject to e verb subject hege iddaga verb hege irbeku annu arthadalli right let us look at some more examples <clears throat> of course here uh, we have used be forms and have forms be forms and have forms in this slide yeah the subject uh, is same he she shobha the boy 
here look at this is or was rich is present tense was past tense okay that means if we use the tense in present tense we use is when the subject is third person singular subject to third person singular iddaga now b form anna present tense an balasbekandre <coughs> excuse me is anna balasthivi if we have to use in the past tense we use was he she shobha the boy is rich or he she shobha the boy was rich if we say is rich present tense if we say was rich past tense okay here i am rich or i was rich fine here am present tense present tense why am because here the subject is i first person singular i irodrinda illi am bandide illi was yake this is the past tense okay i am rich i was rich third example you we they shobha and tej the boys are rich were rich when we use are when the tense is present tense and if the tense is past tense we use were present tense idre are anta balasthivi past tense idre was anta balasthivi so was kuda illi past tense why we have not used was here was an illi yak balasilla were an yak balasidhe andre because it depends on the subject subject mele depend agutte is present tense or present tense is kuda present tense or kuda present tense why we have used here is andre because the subject is singular third person singular why are means because here plural as well as the second person singular other course we have used or here that is why the subject verb agreement subject verb agreement then have forms he she shobha the boy has a big house has a big house present tense he she shobha or the boy had a big house at the past tense past tense okay right let us look at the next example i you we they shobha and tej the boys have a big house present tense had a big house past tense that means the past form of uh, have and has is had have matu has ge eradu kusa past tense form had but we have two present tense forms in have forms present tense form have alli eradu idave has ondu have ondu then when do we use has means when the subject is third person singular third person singular iddaga present tense alli helbekandaga we use has okay how when do we use have have na yav balasthivi first person iddaga then second person iddaga then plural iddaga okay we use have in present tense had it remains the same present past tense okay it remains the same for both first person or second person or third person okay dear students <coughs> fine ha uh, we have here some three exercises uh, on subject verb agreement three exercises on subject verb agreement here what we have to do we have to fill in the blanks with the simple present tense form of the words given in bracket right let us look at the first sentence you bring the file so in this blank we have to fill the present tense form of this word present tense form of this word okay think present tense right look at the person second person so think what to write okay good now check your answer you bring okay here we have not added yes or es or ies yes athwa ies athwa es anna nav serisilla yakendre idu you bandaga yes athwa es athwa ies anna serisodilla because this is second person subject either singular or plural second person agirudrinda 
we have not added yes or yes or yes it remains the same you bring hage ulkolute next example shanti dash not like black color okay yes it's a negative negative think about the answer negative good we have to use helping verb fine and the answer is here does not like does not like why it does not does because shanti is singular singular third person and we are using present tense present tense that is why it does not like <coughs> the third one the thief hurry towards the main door hurry towards the main door yes present tense keep that in mind and look at the subject whether we have to add yes or yes or yes or we have to retain the uh, verb as it is given in the bracket hage ulisko beka athwa seras beka anadana yoshne madbeku adakoskara now subject ana nodbeku whether it is first person singular or second person singular or third person singular okay or plural of course good check your answer hurries yes we have added i e s i e s na sersidhi because present tense and third person singular right do they dash the interview do they dash the interview present tense present tense present tense means we have to think about we have to add yes sir yes sir yes or not okay yes or yes or yes search beka athwa search bar da hage ulisko beka anadu present tense andaga now yoshne madbeku adanna yoshne madbeku andre look at the subject so the subject is plural so the answer is attained it remains the same no question of adding yes sir yes sir yes because they is plural they is plural subject fine uh, we have uh, uh, this exercise on be forms fine when i dash be present that means present be form we have to use present be form we have to use a happy go lucky person yes be form present present be form okay think about the present be forms so we have i uh, done it in the previous class okay previous class we have done be forms do forms as well as have forms and of course even the simple present tense and simple past tense right be present check your answer when i is when i is a happy go lucky man okay present tense why is because when i is singular singular third person singular adakoskar is balisidivi present tense second one the children blank past be and the be form na past tense balisbeku very hungry be form past tense think about the be form past tenses okay past tense be forms past tense be forms ge yoshne maadi yava idave adralli which one you add right of course we have two past tense be forms was and were which one to take think about the subject singular or plural right good were were because the children is a plural subject is plural hagagi were na balasidhi good let us move to the next one i be present busy today be present present be form okay i of course very easy yes you are right am of course i was that is also right right but here present the instruction is present in the past idre we could have added was but present present iradrinda am ana balisidivi be present present tense be form you a teacher you a teacher present tense be form which one be form agirbeku present tense al irbeku yavudu think good subject is you you bandaga yavadana balasthivi yes you are right r r e teacher okay good look at the last example the dog be past hurt 
badly. Be past past tense of the be form. Think the dog singular tense is past be form. Yes, you are right. Check your answer. The dog was hurt badly. Okay. So let us move to the next slide. I have forms. Yes, the first question uh, coming from the top. Find mala blank have present long hair. Have present. Present tense have form. Think about the present tense have form. Right, good, and singular. Subject is singular. Third person, and you are right. Has mala has long hair. Fine. Let us look at the second question. Yeah, uh, statement or sentence. We have passed. Past tense have form. Not gone to the meeting. Not gone to the meeting. Past tense. Past tense of have form. Yeah, we have only one. Right. That is had. We had. Okay, dear students. The next one. I have present. Present have form. Finished my work. Finished my work. Subject is first person. Think. Right. Good. Yes. Here is the answer. I have. Same. Okay. I have finished my work. Good. Rajini have passed written the exam. Have passed written the exam. We have only one have passed tense form. Yes. You are right. That is had. Okay. Good. Dash have present you posted the letter. Have present you posted the letter. Think good and the subject is here you. So present tense two we have choose one among them in between them. Good. Fine. Have have you posted the letter? Okay, dear students. So I hope you have understood. Uh, the subject verb agreement. Okay, what verb should come is decided by the subject. Yava verb verbeku. Okay, adu subject yavriti ire another mele depend agute. Adu koskar subject verb agreement. Subject verb. Subject verb. Subject verb. Subject verb. Okay, subject verb. Okay, dear students, uh, then what uh, you learned uh, in this class, uh, the students match the verb with its subject correctly. Yes, now you are able to match the verb with the subject correctly, right? And now you have understood the use of different persons, first person, second person, third person. Okay, now you know, okay, so what is first person, second person, and third person, and how they are used when we use subject and verb. Okay, fine. Let us go to the next slide. Yes, multiple choice question. Question number one. Selling, we have to take the present tense uh, uh, from the four choices. Yeah, selling and anarchally. Selling and anarchally. What is this? Uh, sorry. Salim dash anarchally in the garden. The sentence is right. Salim dash anarchally in the garden. Let us look at the options. Yes, meet, meets, met, meeting. Present tense, present tense. Look at this, present tense, present tense. Think which are the present tense first choose. Okay, right? Now check your answer, students. B. Sally meets. Why meets? Meet is also in present tense. Meet would a present tense. Eh? Meets would a present tense. Yaka yes, add madidivi because Salim third person singular. I get in the we have added yes, meets is the right answer. B. Question number two. The soldiers be past, past tense be form, not defeated by the enemies. Okay, past tense be form. Let us see. The given past B forms is, was, are, were. Yes. So first you decide which are the past B forms. Then 
you select one among them. Right? Right? Good. Here is your answer. D. The soldiers work as past was is also past tense. Why we have not used was? Was a Yakana Yaka Varsila now? Because subject is plural. Subject plural Lirodrinda, soldiers and the Bahu Vachana the Lirodrinda, Nabu, Varana, Barsidvi. Right. Question number three. The road B present, present B form, blocked in the next cross. Okay, B present is, was, are, were. Okay, yes. So, B present, think about the present B forms, then choose one from them. Okay, think here is answer. Yes, the road is. R is also present tense. R would have present tense. R and I because the road is singular. Singular, third person, of course. Okay, singular. That is why is. Question number four. What have present Anita told to Sunita? Okay. Look at the choices or options. Has, have, had. Yeah, of course, the answer has come. Fine, dear students. Uh, A. What has Anita told to Sunita? Have present. Have is also present. Has present. Have present. Yaki has na now. He'll use Madhidi. Have yaka galadre. Because Anita is singular. Anita singular. Third person. I know the has an use Madhidi. Okay, question number five. And the last question. Parents. Care of their children. Present tense. Present tense we have to use. The options are take, takes, took, taken. Yes, present tense. Think about the present tense in these four choices. Good. Keep the answer with you and check the answer. A. Parents take. Yes, take care of their children. Takes is also present tense. Takes to the present tense. Because parents is plural. Yes, sir. Now, but take. Okay. Fine. Dear students, here I uh, end the multiple choice questions session. Okay. Reference uh, English language practice workbook, board of editors, Down University. This book has taken as reference to prepare this class. Okay. Dear students, it is time to thank you and have a wonderful day. And now uh, let me conclude the class and take your leave okay bye see you let us meet in the next class until then be safe